Modern wars are evolving fast. While we often talk about fighter jets and drones, one of the most important assets on the battlefield is something far more grounded, artillery. And leading the charge in this field is South Korea's Hanwha Aerospace with their latest innovation, the K9A3. This next-gen howitzer is not just more powerful, it's smarter, faster, and potentially unmanned. In today's video, let's understand how this beast is changing the future of artillery warfare and why the world is watching. Before we understand the K9A3, we need to quickly go back in time. The K9 Thunder, first introduced in 1999, is South Korea's highly successful self-propelled howitzer. Over 1,700 units have been produced and exported to countries like India, Norway, Finland, Egypt, and most recently, Poland. It became famous for its reliability, long range, and high rate of fire. But as threats evolve, so must the technology. That's where the K9A3 comes in, it's not just an upgrade, it's almost a complete transformation. At first glance, the K9A3 looks like a standard artillery piece. But under the hood, it's a major leap forward. The biggest upgrade is the 58 caliber 155mm gun. This increases its effective firing range from around 40 kilometers in previous models to up to 80 kilometers. That's double the reach, allowing the system to strike deep behind enemy lines while staying safe. Next, the fire control system has been significantly upgraded. With automated targeting and trajectory calculation, the K9A3 can react faster and more accurately. And yes, it's being built to be optionally unmanned, which means it can be remotely operated in dangerous zones. Let's talk technology. The K9A3 uses advanced LiDAR sensors, autonomous driving systems, and automated loading mechanisms. This means the vehicle can navigate tough terrains without human input, avoiding mines or ambushes. With automatic shell loading, it not only increases the firing rate, but also reduces the crew required inside the vehicle. Think of it as the Tesla of howitzers. But instead of autopilot for traffic, it's autopilot for combat. This is crucial in future warfare where fast response, low manpower, and remote deployment are key. So how does all this help on the battlefield? In a real combat scenario, the K9A3 can be deployed further back from the front lines due to its extended range. Its mobility allows it to quickly shoot and scoot, fire around and relocate before being targeted, and in areas with high drone threats or surveillance, the ability to control it remotely means fewer lives at risk. This system is built for multi-domain operations, not just conventional war but hybrid warfare, urban zones, and even contested island areas. This upgrade isn't just for South Korea's military. Hanwha Aerospace plans to market the K9A3 globally. Given the success of the K9 Thunder in countries like India, Poland, and Finland, this upgrade is expected to attract strong interest. In fact, Poland recently ordered 672 K9 howitzers, many of which could potentially be upgraded to the A3 standard. Also, with NATO pushing for modernization across Europe, many countries are looking to replace outdated artillery systems. This positions the K9A3 as not just a military asset, but a major defense export product. To sum up, the K9A3 represents a bold leap into the future of land warfare. With longer range, autonomy, smart systems, and export potential, it's a model for how artillery can evolve. In a world where wars are increasingly about technology and precision, not just brute force, the K9A3 could set the new standard. So while tanks and jets steal the spotlight, don't forget, artillery still wins wars. And with systems like the K9A3, that role is only getting stronger.